Hello my dear student, welcome to exam prep tool. If you are preparing for GATE CSE, GATE DA or DSA classes for any one of these, if you are preparing, exam prep tool is the best choice. Right? I hope you will enjoy all these lectures. I hope you will enjoy all these lectures at any point of time. If you have any doubt, please WhatsApp us, number also given, right, for doubts purpose. At any point of time, if you have any doubt, please WhatsApp us. But remember, right, remember, all the lectures utilize it. Make proper notes. And myself, I want to say to you, I am Subbarao Lingam Gunta. I completed my engineering from IIT Bombay in computer science department. I am the gate top ranker. Me and my team is having 14 years of teaching experience. We will help you to resolve all your doubts. The only thing is, right, utilize all these lectures, make proper notes. At anywhere, if you have any doubt, please ping us through that WhatsApp number. We have one, one group for doubt solving purpose. We will also add you, right? You can happily, right, solve all your doubts and all. Right? I hope you will enjoy the lectures. Go ahead. 30 program time complexity, I will say. Start now. Main. It is the first program. Main. Main. X is equal to Y plus Z. Main. X is equal to Y plus Z. It is a program. Main x is equal to y plus z right this program time complexity how much this is the first one 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 everyone everyone if anyone is sleepy if anyone is little bit sleepy if anyone is little bit sleepy please slap yourself like this please slap yourself like this if you are little sleepy also please slap yourself like this Otherwise, go to Papa and ask, Papa, can you beat me one time? This is the first one. From now onwards, careful. From now onwards, careful. It is the, it is the, it is the, it is the, right? This is, this is the starting. This is the starting. If anyone is little sleepy also, go and ask Mama. Mama, can you throw one glass of water on my face? Mama, can you throw one glass of water on, on my face? Right? Careful. Now start. This is the first one. Can you help me now? This program contain how many statements? This program contain how many statement? One statement. This program contain how many statement? One statement. Can you help me now? When this program is running, when this program is running, this statement will execute how many times? One time. This program contain one statement. Whenever this program is running, whenever this program is running, this statement will execute how many times? One time. That is called order of magnitude. Order of magnitude of this statement is 1. Remember, it is a determination of order of magnitude of a statement. Order of magnitude is nothing but, right? While running, a statement will execute how many times? While running, while running, this statement will execute how many times? One time only. While running, the statement will execute one time. Order of magnitude of the statement is one. So time complexity of this program is, right? So whatever one is there, whatever one is there, right as it is, just keep big O, capital O. Time complexity of this program is capital O, capital O of one. This program contain one statement. This statement while running one time will execute. That is called order of magnitude. After getting order of magnitude, whatever is the order of magnitude, take as it is. Just keep capital O. Time complexity will be represented with capital O. Time complexity will be represented with capital O. With capital O. Capital O of 1. Capital O of 1. Capital O of 1. That is the first program. Yeah. Can you go to the second program? Can you go to the second program? Example 2. Example 2. If you are seriously preparing for GATE CSE or GATE DA or DSA classes, new batches are starting. For admissions, you can contact us through the WhatsApp number 888 Message us on this. We will reply you. WhatsApp us on this uh, 
right on this mobile number or you can go to exam prep tool you can subscribe from there also so the advantage of the full course is going to be right you will get the test series also freely you will get the air one notes also approximately approximately 5000 practice questions you will get and uh, and uh, and important thing is valuable video lectures you will get right and one more thing there is a time bound also within five months we may complete the most of the syllabus we will give enough time so that you will do a lot of practice and you will get the nice rank 30 programs will come not one program two program 30 programs will come main main x is equal to y plus z x is equal to y plus z next one for i is equal to 1 everyone will get everyone will get the only thing is listen properly i plus plus x is equal to y plus z end of the program end of the program x is equal to y plus z for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus x is equal to y plus z now listen now listen everyone everyone listen what is the time complexity of this program carefully listen time complexity of this program carefully listen so this program contain everyone listen this program contain this program contain two statements for loop is not a statement remember this program contain two statements while running while running first statement will execute one time that is called order of magnitude while running second statement will execute n time this is called order of magnitude second statement order of magnitude is n first statement order of magnitude is 1 when this program is running first statement will execute one time order of magnitude is 1 second statement order of magnitude is n because while running second statement will execute n time some people are asking sir how for loop is running sir i am explaining everyone listen everyone listen in the for loop this is called initialization this is called condition checking this is called incrementation this is called statement see how for loop is running if anyone don't know can you catch now if anyone don't know can you catch now can you catch now see how for loop is running first initialization next condition checking after every true you have to execute statement condition true execute after execution of statement then go to incrementation then after incrementation again condition checking right initialization is only one time first initialization next condition if condition true then statement statement executed then incrementation incrementation is over then condition after condition again statement it will keep on going i is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to n condition true then execute statement after statement execution right then i plus plus incrementation after incrementation again condition checking 2 less than or equal to n condition true then again statement then again i plus plus i value 3 3 less than or equal to n condition true again statement again incrementation so remember condition checking statement incrementation condition checking statement incrementation condition ex condition right condition checking statement incrementation remember this loop is keep on going where is the loop if anyone not able to see the loop if anyone not able to see the loop i am giving the loop also can you see the loop this is the loop this loop is going like this this is the loop this yellow color is the loop initialization is one time condition checking Condi right i one less than or equal to n condition true two less than or equal to n condition true every true you have to execute statement this is called statement this is the statement this is incrementation this is condition this is initialization please write properly if anyone don't know if anyone don't know please write properly this program contain two statements first statement while running will execute one time second statement while running will execute n time then then 
total order of magnitude please add them please add them n plus 1 first one order of magnitude is 1 second one order of magnitude is n right second statement will execute n time how how n time if you want you can just see 1 less than or equal to n condition true 2 less than or equal to n condition true 3 less than or equal to n condition true and so on and so on n minus 1 less than or equal to n condition true n less than or equal to n condition true right until here true next fail n plus 1 less than or equal to n condition fail stop it so these are every every condition statement will execute every condition statement will execute so second statement executing n time first statement executing one time total order of magnitude is n plus 1 if order of magnitude is n plus 1 time complexity whichever bigger n and 1 n and 1 whichever bigger take that one time complexity big o of n that is the reason it is a big that is the reason it is called big o notation whichever bigger you take whichever bigger you take that is the reason it is called big o of n that is the reason it is called big o of n whichever bigger you take example 3 main main x is equal to y plus z for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus x is equal to y plus z and one more thing one more thing if i scold you anyone if i scold you anyone please consider it as please consider it as don't take emotional and all if i scold anyone consider it as your elder brother is scolding consider it as your elder brother is scolding don't take it personal to me to me you are my younger brother you are my younger sister i don't have any anger on you right i don't have any anger on you if i scold you consider that your elder brother is right scolding you so that so that you will be you will be clear next time onwards right don't take in the personal way right take it as your elder brother is scolding you right fine come here now so for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus x is equal to y plus z next one for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus for j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to n j plus plus x is equal to y plus z end of this for loop end of this for loop also end of this also any small doubt also there please ask me any small doubt also there please ask me Any small doubt also there, please ask me. Yeah, now, now my question is, everyone, whoever watching, whoever watching this class, whoever watching this class, please give answer to me. Whoever watching this class, please give answer to me. In this program, in this program, how many statements are there? First say how many statements. In this program, how many statements are there? Please give answer to me. This program contain how many statements? Whoever watching this class, whoever watching this class, please let me know. This program contain how many statements? Everyone have to respond. Everyone, everyone have to respond. Everyone have to respond. How many statements first give answer? I don't want answer. Please grow. Every day, please grow a little bit. Every day, please grow a little bit. Every day, please grow a little bit. I don't want answer. I don't want answer. Whatever you know, you say. Every day, please grow a little bit. How many statements? How many statements? Three statements. Someone is mentioned, this program contains three statements. Someone is mentioned this program contain three statements. Let me write now. It is the first statement. It is the second statement. It is the third statement. 
whenever this program is running whenever this program is running first statement will execute one time so order of magnitude is 1 whenever the second statement is executing this second statement will execute n time because see this one every i value i value 1 the statement will execute i value 2 the statement will execute i value 3 the statement will execute i value 4 the statement will execute so n time now every one lesson now every one lesson every one lesson this this one it will trouble you third statement will trouble see this one third statement will trouble every one lesson i is equal to 1 listen i is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to n condition true every condition listen every condition this loop will execute j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to n this statement will execute j plus plus it is keep on going inside so what i want to say is listen what i want to say is i is equal to 1 let me write over see this one so third statement if you observe i is equal to 1 j loop is running 1 2 3 4 and so on n j loop is n time every time statement will execute i is equal to 2 j loop is running 1 2 3 and so on n i is equal to 3 j loop is running 1 2 3 and so on n and so on i is equal to n j loop is running 1 2 3 and so on n right so what i want to say is if i is equal to 1 j loop is n time i is equal to 2 j loop is 2 time so until now n time here n time here 2n i is equal to 3 j loop is n time 3n i is equal to 4 j loop is n time 4 and so n times n so n into n n square n square remember remember first loop is first one is one time order of magnitude second one is n time order of magnitude third one is n square time because each i value listen each i value each i value j loop is executing see each i value j loop is n time i value one j loop is n i value two after completion of everything you will come back like this see Whenever j loop is over, then i plus plus, i value becomes 2, i value 1, this is n time, i value 2, this is n time, i value 3, this is n time, i value 4, this is n time, this is called inner loops. Third statement is inner loop, inside one loop, again one more loop, inside one loop, again one more loop. Please, please learn basics, please learn basics. Please learn basics. Everything okay. Don't say, don't say, I don't know programming. Where is the programming here? It is, a, it is a, I, I think, first year B.Tech you studied maybe. Those people who are non-CSE people, those people who are non-CSE, first year B.Tech you studied inside for loop, again for loop, inner loop. I am explaining that much clearly. Everyone capable. The only thing is, believe yourself and try. Everyone capable. The only thing is believe yourself. Believe yourself and try. Believe yourself and try. So, so first statement order of magnitude 1. Second statement order of magnitude n. Third statement order of magnitude n square. So, total program order of magnitude n square plus n plus 1. So, which is the bigger? n square n. n square bigger. n square 1. n square bigger. So, time complexity big O of n square. Big O is very simple. Whoever bigger take. 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 